round two of the Pertec Enduro Cup. And ironically, we're speaking to the winners from last year, once again, Warren Luff and, and Garth Tander. And I'll start with you, Warren. Sandown was obviously a, a, a really good fill-up coming here to Bathurst. Yeah, look, it was. It was a great start to the uh, to the defence of the Pertec Enduro Cup. But uh, look, for us, we, we had a great time that weekend. We had a fast car right from practice on Friday and, and we were happy all, all weekend through. So to sort of uh, kickstart the year with a, with a win at Sandown was a great feeling. Is it a big advantage coming to Bathurst with momentum, GT? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, there's no better form to bring into the biggest race of the year than winning form, and that's certainly what we have. And, and like Warren said, the, the car was fantastic at Sandown. Uh, did everything we really asked for. We just small changes throughout the course of the weekend to improve it. And then in the race, the car was fantastic in all conditions. So uh, obviously Bathurst is a fairly different racetrack to Sandown, but we're pretty confident we'll have a good package here. Confidence and momentum is a key though, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. And one thing it also does, it gives the guys in the race team a lot of confidence and a lot of belief. You know, certainly on the car two side of the garage, there's been a long time between drinks. And uh, bringing this new car on stream the last couple of events has really started to, you know, show that there's some speed in the car. So, um, you know, I feel like we've got a better car than we had this time last year and we were on the podium last year. So uh, hopefully we can have a good one this weekend. The other thing too, Warren, is that what's now happened is suddenly you guys have come into everybody's reckoning. You're on the radar now. Beforehand, they would have said, oh, you're one of the teams, but you're now one of the top teams that not just the fans are looking out for, but everyone up and down this pit lane. Yeah, look it's, look, it's great to sort of have everyone talking like that, but ultimately it comes down to still being able to do the job uh, on Sunday afternoon. So it's uh, great to have form and everything like that. But uh, look, as Garth said, look, we've, we've coming into this weekend very confident. We know we've got a good car. We've got a great team of guys around us. Um, we've just got to sort of uh, survive the 161 laps on Sunday and, uh, and do the same thing come Sunday afternoon. And GT, from a race fan perspective, and you were a race fan as a young fella, what's this week like? Oh, this is the best week of the year as far as motorsport goes and V8 supercar racing. It's, um, you know, Bathurst is a jewel in our crown. We all know that. It's the one that you want to win. And, uh, you know, having success here is, is the greatest feeling. It certainly is. And, um, you know, I've been fortunate enough to win it three times. Luffy's been on the podium a couple of times, so I'd love nothing more than to help give him his first win. But also for you, Warren, this is your time of the year. This is co-driver time to shine, isn't it? Yeah, look, it is. And uh, look, as Garth said, it's the, it's the weekend that we all want to be able to sort of win. And uh, for me, I suppose it would be fulfilling a childhood dream sort of uh, to go from that kid that sat on the lounge as a six-year-old watching it with dad and, uh, and dreaming of being able to race at Bathurst to now being here. Uh, but like as Garth said, to be able to sort of have success here would be a, would be a great feeling. And just finally, GT, there's been an announcement that you're not staying with the team next year. But your enthusiasm for being part of what's going to happen this weekend, that doesn't change, does it? No, certainly not. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a very big race and it's a race we want to win. And, and I've had uh, a very long time at the Holden Racing Team and Walkinshaw Racing and we've had a lot of success over the journey. And um, this is the final year that HRT will be at Walkinshaw Racing and it's 10 years since the passing of Peter Brock. So there's a lot of storylines attached to this race. And for me personally, having success this year would be another great storyline.